everybody and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all about my experience of quitting smoking weed now that it has been six months. So I'll tell you all about the differences between the first three months and now the subsequent three months. And I'll kind of dive into all that as well as address some comments that I know I saw in the last video that I definitely feel like are worth addressing. I got to say it's been crazy. It's been a wild experience. Uh, so much has changed since I made that video. But when I posted that video, it was really just a moment of honesty. It was a moment of vulnerability and a moment of me talking about my journey. The video that was all about me making a change in my life that I needed to make. And to have that video like tangibly pay off in terms of growing this channel to now I'm YouTube partner and have over a thousand subs is just mind blowing. It feels very much like the universe rewarding me for a behavior that I needed to stop doing. Therefore, it rewarded me with showing me where I should be putting my energy and time into, which is my passion and making videos and, and doing stuff for you guys. It's cool to see that at least the weed videos have done something and have been helpful to people because, you know, I think something that I made very clear in that video, but seemed to not be so clear from people's comments was that I was not demonizing weed. I wasn't saying that weed is the devil's lettuce. I literally say that in the video. I definitely think it should be legal. I think it should be used as medicine for the people who need it medicinally because it does have those properties. I was really talking about it from my own experience. I wasn't telling people what to do. I wasn't telling you to quit weed. My life is 100% better. It is in just almost every way. And uh, it's kind of wild because I never would have thought I would have quit, you know, Six months ago, if you would have told me that I was quitting for good, that when I smoked my last bong rip or whatever it was, was the last one, like, I wouldn't have believed you, honestly. And now, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, no, that was the last one. I really want to break into kind of a, a few different topics about what made quitting so important for me, as well as what has changed from month three to month six. So first, I wanna talk about my mental health. At the time, when I was about three months in, I was feeling pretty good. I think I finally was starting to turn the corner in terms of just like overall mental state was fully normalized from, from smoking and fully into the sober state and starting to feel really good about life choices I was making. So I guess three months later, it's even better. <laughs> it's honestly even better, dude. My mental health is better. I feel better. I'm taking more care of myself. I've accomplished way more in this time than I did in the first three months. The first three months were really, I had to focus just more on recovery and just like, you know, building new habits and routines. These following three months have been, I have the routines, I have the habits. And so I've been working out regularly. I've been meditating regularly. I've been overall just taking care of myself. A lot of the changes have been just like a microcosm of just like how this one little switch I needed to flick kind of set all these other things that were in motion that were kind of ready to go. I mean, at any moment, I was, I was pretty much ready for this life change. I just, I needed to let go of weed in order to do that. I've lost some weight and uh, I, I have a really good routine now in terms of losing weight and I only really started doing that in December. So in December, I started tracking my calories using my fitness pal, uh, not sponsored, but overall my fitness is a lot better and I'm continuing to improve and I'm hoping to reach my goal weight sometime in March, but you know, there's still a long ways to go. So let's just see if I can get to under 200. Now, one thing that definitely was disrupted when I first quit weed was my sleep schedule. And I can say that that has normalized. I would say that my sleep schedule is pretty normal at this point. I've never been somebody who can really sleep eight hours. I mean, I can get it every once in a while, but realistically, I'm just, I'm a morning person. I get up early. It is what it is. I would say that in the very beginning, that is a big problem. By month six and really from months three to six, it's pretty normal. Whatever it is, is probably whatever it is for you. And I know some people sleep well, some people don't. You might need to look into other things if you're still having trouble sleeping. I don't have any cravings. I have zero desire to smoke. I have zero desire to use cannabis in any of its forms. Um, I'm good without it. Again, this is all about my experience, right? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you that weed is bad. I'm not telling you that uh, it's gonna affect you in the same way necessarily. I'm just documenting my experience. And what I can tell you from my experience is that in almost every metric, my life has improved since I stopped using it. That might not be true for you. So, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I mean, this is just my experience and 
and I had a very unique or not so unique set of problems with the use of cannabis. And I found that for me, it just wasn't, it was not serving me. But like I was the type where I would be high and people really wouldn't know. Like I could get everything done during my day. I was very productive. I never lost a job because of it. I never skipped work because of it. Like I, I was a very productive member of society. I was by no means some stoner loser, you know, whatever the stupid trope is, which isn't real anyway. So now let's get into some of the comments that I saw. I feel like a lot of the comments that I saw definitely were people who did not watch the whole video. And I think it's very clear based on what they said, because I'm like, well, if you watch the video, I gave a pretty nuanced take on some of this stuff. But regardless, let's get into some of the things that I saw a lot. A comment I saw a lot, which was hilarious to me, was that apparently I look high in the video and I just would love to know the logic. Obviously these people were high when they commented, but like, what is the logic behind that? Okay, I make a video on a channel that had 30 subscribers at the time. It was my first video in like a year and a half on this channel. And I made it about a very personal private journey that I decided to share with the world about how I quit smoking weed and how weed was a problem for me. I had to like admit that on camera, right? And people said that I got high for that video? Like, think of the audacity of somebody to be like, dude, I'm going to make a video about quitting weed. And you know what I'm going to do right before I record? I'm going to get high. Who would do that? One thing that I saw a lot, which I thought was so funny because I directly addressed this in the video, but people kept saying like, well, it's never the weed, it's you. And I thought that was so funny because I say in the video, I kept telling myself that like, oh, but like, it's not the weed. And it's true. It's not, it's not just the weed. Uh, there's a lot of things that would get in my way, me specifically, getting in my own way, that is not just the weed. And quitting weed did not solve all of my problems, and I wanna make that very clear. It's not the weed, but it's also the weed. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. It, It's kind of both, right? It's on me, but also, since I removed it, I'm clearly more responsible, and I clearly have shown a level of capability that leads me to believe it, it's me on weed that is the problem. He's probably drinking alcohol or something now. Of course you feel great. You're tripping balls every day. I did think that comment was funny. In the last couple months, I really have not actually even microdosed. I've barely even microdosed. Um, I never did it that frequently anyway. But regardless, no, it's not because I substituted weed for now psychedelics and now I'm just tripping balls all the time. No, I'm not. I'm honestly doing them less. And then finally, why not just try moderation? Oh, just moderate it, man. I said in the video that I've proven to myself that I cannot moderate. I've tried moderation. As I mentioned in my planner video, which you can also check out, I had it written down at several several different uh, planners of days where I was trying to not smoke, right? And so like I tried to build in a system where I could like force myself to not do it that often. And it just, no matter what, it always led me back to doing it every day. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Please uh, give me a like and a subscribe. Give me a comment and tell me about your journey. I want to hear about your journeys. That was one of the coolest parts of the last video. Hearing different people's journeys of where they were at or what caused them to quit or uh, how long that they've been clean from it. I want to hear more of those stories because that's the kind of stuff like that's what inspired me to really push this channel further was like, man, I'm actually like affecting people's lives and I, I'm tangibly providing information that can be helpful to people. And I, I feel like there isn't enough info out about quitting weed in like the first early stages. I think as time goes on, um, you really think about it less and less. And maybe I'll do an update after a year. Yeah, it's been amazing. So thank you so much. All the support. This has been incredible. You guys have given me a reason to post videos on this channel from those previous videos. So even if this video isn't even watched by that many people, it's fine. Uh, you guys have really re-inspired me to follow my dreams. And so thanks again for watching. I appreciate you all. Peace out. See you in the next one.